Alright, let's just dig straight into this. It's come with soda bread. Flavours in here, it's warming this up. These are both really good. Cheers. It's like a little hidden spot. Yeah, it's like a little Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Dublin Island. Today we're going to go walk around the city and see if we can try some local food for you. But to start them on and off, we wanted to have a coffee. So we found a little place called the Cake Cafe. And of course they do really, really good coffee. But they also did a cake that we really wanted to try. It's chocolate Guinness cake. <laughs> so they make the chocolate cake with Guinness. It's nine in the morning. You know what? I could have some Guinness and some <laughs> cake. <laughs> Let's give it a try. I can't believe we're starting this video by eating cake, but don't judge us, guys. Know. This is for you, so we can tell you if it's any good. Ooh, Ooh. Like the little box. So it's a big old chocolate cake. You just gotta dig on in. Oh my gosh, I feel like the guy from what's it called? From Mad Matilda. Uh, Matilda. <laughs> oh, you didn't get any icing. Oh my gosh, it's like super moist chocolate cake. That is so yummy. Really? Okay, I'm I'm gonna get the ice. <laughs> hey, I was gonna get that icing, but. Oh my goodness. Mm. Well, good morning everybody. Once again, we do apologize if this video makes you hungry. I'm feeling a change. Come on. I'm feeling a change. Come on. So we've come to lunch at Gallagher's Boxy and portion sizes are massive. We ordered two kind of like Irishy dishes. One is a nice big stew that's come with bread, but not any type of bread. It's come with soda bread. And so many of you guys have told me I need to try this. It is made with bicarb soda, I think, and that's what makes it a little bit different. I'm gonna butter it up and put it in the Irish stew. So my Irish stew is a veggie one, so it's got like beans and tomatoes and carrots. It looks like a good hearty winter's meal. And like Stephen has something we've never heard before. It is called a box tea. And it's basically made of potato. So they mash potato and then they grate potato and they turn it into a pancake and then you can choose what filling you want. So he's gone for like a vegetarian chili box tea. And it looks like kind of like a burrito, like a big Mexican burrito. But how are you going to finish that, Steve? I don't know how we even Like hold it up against your head. This thing is huge. How are we going to get through both of these? But wow, I've never seen this before. And we didn't even just get soda bread. We also got a big plate of other breads. Soda breads, beer breads. Oh. One is um stout and treacle bread. That's so interesting. I know. All right, who should we go first? All right, I'll try my first. All righty, our first stew officially here in Ireland. It's like a big tomato stew. Let's dip this soda in. That's so a good intrigued. stew. Yeah. Yeah. It's like perfect for this weather as well. And then the famous soda bread. Mm. It's like really good soup bread. Like it's nice and thick. Can you taste any sort of soda? Is it living up to the name or is it just good bread? It tastes like, it tastes a bit like sourdough. Okay, so you're right, good soup bread. Mm. Okay, so this is the actual box tea just here, and then they've covered it in the sauce, the cheese, and what is this? Sour cream? Yeah, it's kind of like a Mexican box tea. <laughs> Alright, let's just dig straight into this. Okay, it's kind of falling a bit, but that's more on me. <laughs> oh wow, the cheese is just dripping off that. It looks like a savory crepe. It's not thick at all. You think you're gonna be having a burrito, but. It looks like a crepe burrito. It's really yummy and wow because of the flavours in here it's warming this up. These are both really good meals for the weather we're having at the moment. It's like a little bit drizzling outside. I, don't, I still don't know how we're going to get through all of this. Alrighty Steve, we're going to try the stout and treacle bread. Like sweet rye bread. Reminds me of the stuff we had in Iceland. Rip some up and dip it in my stew. You're right. Perfect soup and stew bread. That's yeah. what I call it. It soaks it all up. Mm. Yummy. Also, I think autumn has hit here in Ireland. 
All right, guys, you know when you visit a place and there's always that one major tourist attraction that everyone goes to see, it's like the Eiffel Tower in Paris. You have to go see it. Like, you can't go to Paris and not see it. Here in Dublin, we're going to their version of the Eiffel Tower, which is the Guinness Factory. <laughs> many of the buildings they own but when you walk in there's just all this old brickwork factories around here so we just come into the Guinness storehouse and I didn't realize but the room we're in at the moment they've shaped it like a gigantic Guinness light <laughs> which is crazy so just glass walls goes up and then you go to different floors, but it's kind of cool. So they've actually put a 9,000 year old lease, which they signed for this storehouse to brew their beer. That was honestly done so well. I don't know what I was actually expecting, but it wasn't that. It was <laughs> really well done. So there were seven different floors. The first one was showing all the ingredients, so hops and also all the yeast and the water. The second floor was how they actually brew it, so how they put it all together. And the third floor, we got to taste our first Guinness. Remember before we tasted it, they had the four ingredients there and you had to smell them. Alrighty, time to do some tasting. Oh, wow. Just like mold. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> oh, it's so small. So we're just learning how to properly drink a Guinness. This is my first time ever trying Guinness. Really? You ready? Yeah, she said you have to have a big mouth, right? Yeah. Here we go. Oh no, she said breathe in. That's actually fine. Yeah? Usually I'm not a big beer girl. I'm <laughs> not a big girl. Beer girl. <laughs> I like it. Well, cheers, Bobby. No, you breathe in and then drink. In your pocket. Wow, that is nice. That's so nice and fresh. And then the next floor was, I learned how to pour the perfect pint. I'm certified. He's got a certificate. Hater's gonna say I'm not, but I've got a certificate to prove it. <laughs> and then we went to the final top floor where we could it's enjoy the gravity bar. The gravity bar. 360 views of Dublin from the top. And we enjoyed a pint. Cheers. Honestly, I would recommend that. Whether you like beer or not, whether you like Guinness or not, we don't like beer really, but I totally enjoyed that. Alrighty guys, after lunch we just jumped back on the Airlink bus up to the airport because if you're going to see Ireland, you need to rent a car. And I must say, I think Ireland's caught on to this because it was so well organized to pick up a car. I think this was the easiest process. We got our car through Enterprise if you guys were interested, but this is our little car. I'm so excited. Everyone has told us, well, when we told everyone we we're going to Ireland, they were like, you better be hiring a car. We're like, yes, definitely. So we are leaving Dublin now. I know our time was short. We are coming back to Dublin after our road trip. Do let us know what we missed. We are coming back after our road trip. So let us know in the comments below. But now we are heading off to Belfast. It's about about an hour and a half away. Yeah, let's go to our next Irish city. Why does this feel weird? Like this is the proper way to drive on the road. This is the Australian way, but I think because we've been driving on the other side of the road for the last like three months that this doesn't feel right. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, this is it actually felt weird sitting in this spot, even though we've grown up driving like this. <laughs> uh, in my head, I'm like, okay, this is my street that I drive home. At home, I would turn right to go into this main street to go to the shops. I keep going, like, long right, long right. And it's so weird because usually I'm telling you, tight, tight right. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. It'll come to you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> yeah, true. Welcome to Belfast. We've just checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Europa Hotel. I'll tell you more about it later. But we're walking down and we couldn't find which our room was because we're staying in 1008. It's like 1007, 1005. We kept walking up and down. And then I realized, oh, there's a room called Titanic Suite. And it was kind of like in between five and seven and nine. I just just joked, it was like. And it worked. I was like, what? We're in the Titanic Suite. And it says, the Titanic Suite welcomes Hillary Clinton back in 2009. 
And then we opened it up and we are staying in such a nice room. Oh my goodness. It's like a full on apartment. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This room is so nice. Wow, this is. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the bath. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is so nice. Well, if Hillary Clinton stayed here, that's gotta be nice. <laughs> Wow, this hotel has so much history. The lady that was checking us in told us that this is the most bombed hotel in Ireland. In, yeah, Ireland. Wow. Well, they're giving us some little welcome treats to Aww. add into the food video. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, look at the view. Oh, we came in just before sunset. Yeah. So we're actually traveling here with the uh, Irish Tourism Board and they've given us Game of Thrones coffee mugs. I think they caught on how much we like coffee. This is so cool. So Targaryen. You have one oh, as well. Oh, that's decent. That's like, like ceramic. ceramic. I know. Huh, well, I'm going to go get my this coffee. This is how we're going to have our coffees for the whole time in Ireland. So cool. So you guys didn't know, most of Game of Thrones is filmed here in Ireland. So I think we'll take you to some filming locations on this road trip. Alrighty, guys, we're going to end the video here. On the next episode, we will be showing you around Belfast. But before I we go to bed... an Irish breakfast. Let us know what that tastes like. It probably just tastes like black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, black tea. Mmm. It tastes like black, black tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Irish series is just beginning. We are going to go on a road trip. But if there's any foods that we should try on this road trip, we're kind of sticking to the north. So if there's any traditional dishes we need to try, let us know in the comments below. If you're new around here, hit subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yum.